Es ist mal wieder Zeit für den großen Support-Part vor der Hauptmission hier. Wir haben eine Menge an Supports, aber das ist ja nichts Neues. Und ich würde sagen, wir gehen die jetzt einfach mal schön durch. Vielleicht diesmal umgekehrt von der Reihenfolge, von unten nach oben. Das können wir auch mal machen. Catherine und äh, The Dew ist der Einstieg. Das ist interessant. Let's go. Oh, The Dew. Must be my lucky day if I'm running into you here. Hey, what's with the scowl? Do we have a problem? All the residents in this town are people of Dusker. It may be within the kingdom, but it holds neither monastery nor church. What is your reason for coming here? Wait, Dimitri and Lady Rhea didn't tell you? They did not. Uh, I know everyone's been busy, but that's unacceptable. Well, there was a major fire here, right? Lady Rhea asked us to come help rebuild. We brought rations too. Never hurts to have a little more food in your stores. So relax, please. I swear on the goddess herself that we don't intend to harm any of you. I did ask his majesty to spare some aid in rebuilding the town. But I did not expect the task to fall to you. What kind of church are we if we don't help those in need? Besides, we owe Fargus quite the debt. You guys took us in, even going as far as to start a war with the Empire in the process. This is the least we can do to return the favor. Surely the Knights of Saros have long since repaid their debts on the battlefield. Maybe the Knights have, but the monks and scholars won't let us hear the end of it if we don't let them pitch in too. So when Lady Rhea heard about the fire, she apparently jumped at the chance to help. Is that so? I know the people of Dusker will have their concerns, since they're not followers of Saros. But it'll all be fine. And we can't just sit around twiddling our thumbs while people out there desperately need help, can we? At least, that's how all of us who follow the teachings of Lady Rhea view it. Hmm. You're free to supervise if you still don't trust us. No. You seem to be speaking the truth. His Majesty has expressed similar sentiments in the past. I believe your desire to help is sincere. Thanks, Dudu. I was starting to think you were about to tell us to pack up and go home. Well... Now that we're all square on that front, point us toward what needs the most help. We'll do manual labor, planning, you name it. In that case, I'd ask that you clear away the burnt wood and help distribute food to the townsfolk. I will explain to everyone what you're doing here. Yes, that's probably for the best. I'm sure they'll be much more willing to listen to you. Anyway, we'd better get to work. Schön, diese Bereitschaft zu sehen, wenn es Feuerschäden gibt, aber umgekehrt äh, richtet man auch ganz gerne Feuerschäden an. Hust, hust. Okay, genug davon. Äh, ja, weiter geht das. Wir haben noch einiges vor uns. So das Harpy und Bernie. Wa warte, warte, warte. Harpy hat noch einen Shamir-Support und Ignat-Support. Okay, aber dann sind wir mit Harpy auch schon bald wieder durch. Fast ein bisschen schade, aber gut. Harpy und Bernie. Die sich eigentlich gut verstehen, aber es gab auch so ein bisschen Missverständnis das letzte Mal. Also insofern könnte es lustig werden. Ah, okay. Das sieht ja stark aus. <lacht> Echt ganz schön irre. Ich mag das ja jedes Mal, wenn man solche Bilder einblendet. Das trägt dann doch irgendwie dazu bei, dass es sich runder anfühlt, man sich besser reinversetzen kann. Oder irgendwie ist es einfach nett, wenn man ja bestimmte Objekte zu Gesicht bekommt in so einer Spielewelt. Hier vielleicht auch mal ein bisschen fantastischer wirken. Wenn es auch einfach nur so ein bisschen äh, eine wild eingefärbte Biere hier ist, auch ganz witzig. I had no idea these grew outside the village. Oh, um, uh, hi Happy. Got some fruit there? Yep. I used to eat them all the time when I was a kid. Care for some? Huh? Oh, um, thanks. I'll just have one. Hm. Oh, wow. It's sour, but also sweet. They're my favorite. With all the edible plant life around here, you never need to worry about being hungry. Well, I suppose I've seen edible plants around, but are there really all that many? Sheesh, I need to get out more. I didn't even notice. But you must have noticed. You raise them. Like the carnivorous one I saw earlier? But I don't eat my carnivorous plants. I'm sorry. Did we or did we not have a long conversation about how delicious they are? Uh-oh. 
Uh oh. <laughs> In fact, I was just thinking that the jug shaped one would be divine if we stuffed it with grains and. Uh, Bernie Bee? <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just imagining you eating my adorable little carnivorous plants. Which I have done. A lot, actually. Haven't you? Of course not! Why would I eat my plant babies? Because they're delicious. Okay, that's it. I'm going to cook you up a carnivorous plant feast right now. Come on. Wait, no! I haven't said yes to this! Oh. Here you go. <laughs> Dig in. This is the one with the leaves that act like a mouth. Uh, but instead of bugs, I stuffed it with grilled meat. Oh no! Poor little guy! But... It would be an insult to its little plant spirit if I just threw it out, so... <laughs> well, do you like it? It's my favorite, so I hope it ends up being your favorite, too. Bernie Bee? Was it so delicious you passed out? <laughs> oh Gott, okay. Uh, das ist zumindest ein sehr witziger Support. Okay, come on. <laughs> Stop kidding around. Hello? I can see you drooling, Bernie Bee. Oh-oh. <lacht> okay, sehr gut. Wir haben es einfach damit enden lassen. Das finde ich schön. Das ist ein sehr schönes Ende für diesen Sofort. Es braucht gar keine Worte mehr, was? Einfach, that's it. Genug. <lacht> was auch immer mit Bernie nun los ist. Tja, es ist ein Mysterium. <lacht> sehr schöner Support. Sehr unterhaltsam. Wunderbar. Machen wir gleich weiter. Harpy und Chris, let's go. Ah, schön. Das hat gut angefangen, alles. Hey, Happy. You got a minute? I have several. Need something? So, I heard a little about your past, and I was wondering if you wouldn't mind telling me more about it. I see. So, now you know, huh? Not the most pleasant story. What did you want to know? I was thinking about how you asked all those questions about my mom, and I realized... You were probably worried I went through the same thing as you. Yeah, that about sums it up. You do have those mysterious powers after all. When I was little, some strange lady kidnapped me. I became a test subject for her twisted experiments. That's how I ended up with my condition. Or whatever you want to call it. Not that it's life-threatening. Safe to say my mom never did anything like that. I'm pretty sure I'd remember it if she did. She didn't really talk much, but I don't think she had a deceitful bone in her body. Her life was kind of just what you'd expect out in a village like that. She did keep to herself, though. Thinking about it more, it's possible she was on the run from someone. Hmm. That does sound a little worrying. But in any event, I'm glad you didn't go through what I did. And unlike me, it seems you've got a pretty good handle on your powers. Ist das so? Das kann man noch nicht so ganz sagen. Ah, I don't really have full control of them yet. You never know when something might go wrong. One day that sword might overtake me and I'll turn into a monster. Like something out of a fairy tale. If that ever happens, I'll just sigh and you'll come running. Ich finde es lustig, das in dem Kontext äh, von Fotlan als Märchengeschichte zu bezeichnen, wo so etwas absolut möglich wäre. Aber gut. Then me and all your old friends would put you out of your misery. Now that's a real fairy tale ending. Well, that won't give me nightmares at all. But if it ever came to it, I think that's how I'd like to go. Mercenaries need to use every weapon and tactic at their disposal. Maybe flinging these powers around isn't such a good idea, but right now I need to do whatever I can to stay alive. Though, honestly, I should probably take a page out of your book and only use them as a last resort. I think that's what makes you pretty incredible, Happy. You've got this power right there, but choose not to use it. I think that means I just gave up. You're way more amazing because you're still trying. No doubt about it. Nee, Happy ist schon auch sehr beeindruckend, meiner Meinung nach. No, you're the amazing one. And you can't tell me otherwise. I don't even know what we're talking about anymore. Anyway, was that all? Because I feel like I need to move. Yeah, thanks for talking with me. You going to train? Yep. Figure it couldn't hurt to put in a little effort. You should come too if you're free. I hope to see you there. 
Aber ich mag Harpy schon immer sehr gerne. Experiments, huh? Harpy hat erstmal schon mal ein super tolles Design, was finde ich immer total raussticht für mich. Und so eine total gelassene Art. Ja, schon sehr speziell, das auch. Aber irgendwie nicht auf negative Art und Weise. Und es gibt Leute, die solche Experimente doch ganz anders verarbeiten. Es ist erstaunlich, wie Harpy das verarbeitet, muss man sagen. Der Kampfstil macht übrigens auch super viel Spaß. Ich mag das mit diesem ZR-Move da immer zu kämpfen. Das ist echt ganz witzig bei ihr mit diesen komischen Schattenexplosionen da. Macht auf jeden Fall Spaß. Ja, ich habe das schon ein paar Mal gesagt. Also wenn wir dann mal doch nochmal zu Three Houses kommen, würde ich fast sagen, wir ja, gucken, dass die Wölfe so richtig viel zum Einsatz halt kommen. Das würde ich einfach gerne erleben. Wir haben jetzt einen Bernie und Marianne Support. Da freue ich mich jetzt sehr drauf. Das könnte interessant werden. Schauen wir mal. Könnte auch lustig werden, je nachdem. Da weiß ich gar nicht, was mich erwartet. <lacht> Fängt schon gut an. Hey, so, um, oh, go ahead. I didn't actually have anything important to say. No, you can go first, Bernadetta. <lacht> okay, well, I guess I'll start. I saw a lovely white butterfly in the mess hall this morning. Oh, but while the wings and body were both white, its eyes were crimson. It was beautiful. I saw one just like that at the stables. You saw one too? Yes, its eyes glittered like tiny jewels. It was wondrous to behold. I wonder if it was the same butterfly I saw. That would be something, huh? Yes, it would be a most lovely coincidence. <laughs> um, well, I guess it's my turn. This morning I awoke earlier than usual and, well, since I had extra time, I climbed a small hill and looked out over the landscape. You woke up bright and early, huh? That's great. So how was the scenery? Seeing the plains hued red by the sunrise was especially striking. It's like I was standing inside a painting or... I'm sorry, I can't put into words very well. Wow, I wish I could have seen it. Maybe I can manage to drag myself out of bed before noon one day. Oh, yeah. oh dear, listen to me. <laughs> I'm sorry for going on as long as I did. <laughs> oh, no, it's alright, really. And actually? Yes, Bernadetta? Well, I guess... I mean, it's been a long time since I've been able to talk this much with someone. I'm rather awful at speaking to other people myself. So this has been somewhat strange for me as well. Yeah. So I was thinking it might be nice if we could chat again sometime. What do you think? Uh, that would be delightful. Oh, thanks, Marianne. I gotta think of lots of things to talk about for next time. Okay, so there's carnivorous plants, interesting books, the doll I'm knitting, carnivorous plants. <laughs> you talked about those today as well. Yeah, but there are lots of different kinds. Anyway, I think this is gonna be great. Ah, wunderschön, das ist doch großartig. Es gibt nichts besseres, als wenn sich introvertierte Leute so richtig gut verstehen und dann einfach... Ja, wirklich richtig viel reden. Es kann noch viel extremer sein, wie bei manchen Extros, finde ich immer so. Also, ich meine, ich bin ja selbst recht introvertiert, aber ja, immer in den Kreisen so von Leuten, wo ich mich wohlfühle und wo dann wirklich Leute dabei sind, die in denselben Themengebieten irgendwie mitdiskutieren können, dann wird es halt super interessant. Ne? Und auf einmal redet man tatsächlich wie ein Wasserfall. Auch sehr schön, was Jäger gesagt hat mit ja, früh aufstehen für die einzigartigen Momente, die man so erlebt, das stimmt auch. Kann man tatsächlich auch empfehlen. Also ich stehe ja sehr, sehr früh mittlerweile auf. War aber eine Zeit lang anders. So zwischen 5 und 6 Uhr üblicherweise, weil man da nämlich sehr schön sich dann fokussieren kann. Und man hat so ein bisschen Zeit für sich und das ist tatsächlich ganz nett. Und vor allem, wenn man früh auch mal rausgeht in die Natur, ist das ganz schön. Sieht man hin und wieder auch mal irgendwelche Rehe oder so. Das ist ganz angenehm. Ja? Ah, Marianne hat das sogar noch. Ah, ja, mit uns. Okay, ja, dann nehmen wir das doch gerne mit. Sehr schön. What a wonderful meal. 
Hey, you've still got some food left. You don't want it? That Agma Wolverine meat's super hard to come by, you know. Oh, I don't really eat meat. You can have it. Don't mind if I do then. You know, I always feel strangely energized after eating this stuff. <laughs> you look so pleased to be eating it. It's not every day I get to hear you laugh. Did I look funny or something? No, it's just that the look on your face made me feel happy. Instead of just watching other people stuff their faces, maybe you'd enjoy trying some yourself? I am perfectly content just watching. Huh. Well, anyway, it seems like you've gotten more comfortable eating with me, Marianne. I have. When you told me not to act like someone I'm not, at first I didn't know what to do with myself. But I still thought I could learn something from you. And as I talked with you more, I just got used to us seating together. I see. Then why not branch out and eat with other people too? Mealtimes are a great opportunity to make new friends after all. Making conversation and sitting around the dinner table go hand in hand. That's how we ended up friends, right? It might be a good chance to get to know someone else. What's wrong? I'm sorry, it's just... My adoptive father said the same thing to me once. He did? He often criticized me because I avoided other people so much. He said that, as the heir to House Edmund, I must be at least somewhat sociable. But he never bothered to understand how difficult it was for me to do that. Die Taktlosigkeit, nein. Ähm, man weiß ja, dass dieser Edmund eigentlich äh, recht liebevoll ja auch ist. Weiter. Well, you managed to make friends with me. I'm sure if you keep at it, you'll be able to overcome any difficulties. Maybe you're right. But I don't think it's a good idea for me to get involved with too many people. Why? I only bring misery and misfortune to anyone who gets too close to me. That's not true at all. Why do you even think that? It is true. I know it. Okay, if that's the case, then how is it possible for us to be hanging out right now without any problems? You're right. I should have been more vigilant and kept some distance between us. But you're so kind and I just like being around you. I'm sorry. I'll stay as far away from you as I can from now on. I should go. No. Oh God. Hey, wait, Marianne. <sighs> What am I gonna do about her? Na, für den B-Support wahrscheinlich genau passend zumindest. Das macht dann die Spannung auf jeden Fall noch mal etwas höher für den A-Support. Ne? Sehr schön. Bernie schon wieder. Ja. Kann noch mal mit uns plaudern. Ah, wir sind bei Maria noch schon ziemlich weit. Da ist der A-Support nicht mehr in allzu weiter Ferne sogar. Aber machen wir erstmal den Bernie B-Support bei uns. <lacht> Okay, fängt sehr typisch an. Bernadetta, what's wrong? Is there a rat in the base? Wait, a rat? Nobody told me about a rat! Oh no, oh no, oh no! It's gonna nibble on all my snacks! Um, es ist eh eine Bernie-Situation. Was immer man tut, es wird komisch eskalieren. Sorry, I think I kind of threw you off track there. What's horrible exactly? Well, you see, there was this lady in the camp earlier who didn't look scary at all and even seemed kind of nice. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Shyness and fear of strangers got you down, huh? Well, let's see if I have something that can help. Thanks. Hmm. I think I've got just the herb. It's gonna put you out a good few gold coins. But this baby will do wonders for relieving stress. And then... Ah, I've got something a little more, shall we say, tasteful. Real under-the-table kind of stuff. I would probably recommend against it. But the thing's on sale if you really want it. Uh, you okay there? I just remembered something. Oh, how could you forget, Bernie? There are lots of scary people out there who pretend to look nice just so they can prey on you. And you must be one of them! Well, that was weird. I'm not that scary, am I? Nein. Aber schön, dass man Anna auch mal eingebunden hat. Das finde ich jetzt cool. And that's how it all happened. I would have been dragged up and murdered if it wasn't for you. 
But wasn't that just Anna? She's here all the time selling her wares. I mean, not all of it's the most reputable stuff, but I don't think she's trying to cheat anyone. And she's definitely not a murderer. Naja, lassen wir mal Awakening Fates an außen vor. <lacht> Anna kann schon auch eine Killermaschine sein. This is all my fault. I should go apologize to her later. Huh? She's not evil? Not that I know of. I'm also pretty sure it's not the first time you've met her. I don't know. I'm bad with faces. You're pretty judgmental. You know that? Huh? What do we do? What do we do? How about this? There's this merc I've got in my crew. A real terrifying looking hunk of muscle. Sweetest little teddy bear on the inside though. If anyone's gonna help you overcome this, it's him. Okay, I accept this challenge. You've got this, Bernie. <lacht> Schön. Das könnte auch ein witziger A-Support wieder werden. Ja, doch. Ah, und Ingrid und Savannah haben ihren A-Support. Das ist aber auch schön. Das machen wir jetzt auch. Ja. Die alten Freunde hier. What's the matter, Ingrid? You sound exhausted. Oh, it is just that my father's work never ends. Writing battle reports, explaining our Pegasus maintenance costs. There's always something that needs doing. I'm impressed that you, Felix, and His Majesty managed to stay on top of it all. Are you sure you're okay, Ingrid? It isn't like you to be so worried. Perhaps I'm simply not suited for desk work. I sound pathetic. Well, that's my cue to pitch in and help out. By treating a lovely lady to a fine meal. I thought you'd sworn off such flirtatious nonsense. Can't you just accept a generous offer for once instead of immediately disparaging the giver? Maybe you're right. In that case, I accept. I reached a good stopping point anyway, so I may as well eat on your coin. Phew. It has been some time since I've eaten this much. I've been so busy lately, my meals have consisted of whatever quick snack I can scrounge up in the moment. Well, that makes the incredibly hefty bill worth it. Also, it's been a while since I've been able to watch you eat. I think I kind of missed it. And what is that supposed to mean? Sorry, that came out all wrong. What I meant to say was that it's a relief to finally see you enjoy a decent meal. I mean, we're basically family, you know? And I'm sure Felix and Dimitri would feel the same way. Is that so? When we were talking earlier, you said something about how a person can't cling to the past forever. Well, I think that's why it makes us so happy when we realize some things never change. Some things never change, huh? Hmm. Hold on. That means you were still gawking at me as I ate. Yeah, but can you blame me? You are a fascinating eater. I mean, you're normally really serious, but when you eat, it's like your entire face lights up. Do you even hear yourself? Yes, well, speaking of things that never change, I thought of an even more important one. What's that? Our friendship. The way we're there for each other through thick and thin. Even if our relationship changes, we will always hold each other dear. Okay, that line is way too cheesy. Who taught you to say that? What rogues have you been hanging out with? Stop complaining and come with me. I want to buy some treats for everyone. I'd follow you to the ends of the earth, my lady. Haha, <lacht> cool. Die haben wirklich ein sehr spezielles Band, aber ich mag das voll. Echt cool. War auch ein sehr schönes Gespräch wieder. Weil Sylvain hat schon ein Talent, so ein Fettnäpfchen reinzutreten. Weil mittlerweile ist er schon vernünftiger. Aber so ein bisschen was vom alten Sylvain ist natürlich trotzdem da. Das merkt man schon. Ja, wir können auch nochmal mit Ingrid quatschen. Alles klar. Cool. Ich spiele ja sehr magisch in letzter Zeit. Macht auch viel Spaß. Hey Ingrid. Not too often I see you wandering in town like this. Oh, I um, was just out for a walk. What about you? Are you here to do some shopping? Yeah, did you ask me to pick up some ingredients for dinner? Well, if it is food shopping you're after, then your best bet would be the boulevard past the river. Uh, what are you so flustered for? You're not hiding something, are you? What, me? No, not at all. It's nothing really. I'm just surprised how much you can find here. It's a far cry from the struggling little towns dotting the rest of the kingdom, that's for sure. Yes, 
Galatea is one of the regions that's found itself facing particularly hard times lately. A beautiful town like this, filled with happy people, hardly feels like it's part of the same kingdom as the blighted, barren lands I call home. The street lined end to end with blacksmiths is an especially magnificent sight. <sighs> Not to mention all the wonderful smells wafting from the food stalls. <clears throat> Sorry, I lost myself for a moment there. In any case, it's great to see just how prosperous this town has become. Hm. Machen wir jetzt das gleiche. Ingrid äh, geht einfach auf andere Kosten essen. Okay. Hey, you want to go take a peek at some of those stalls with me? We can grab a bite and keep walking if you want. I saw some mouth-watering meat skewers when I passed by earlier, and this time of year's got the best fruit and fish. Truly? I'd love to try some. Though, it would not be proper for me to be engaging in such revelry as the future Count Galatea. Hey, speaking of, have you figured out what you want to do yet? Not at the moment, no. In fact, part of the reason I came into town today was to do some further searching. It's my dream in life to stand as a knight by His Majesty's side, just as my late fiancé once did. And even if I do not become a knight like he was, There must be a way I can protect his majesty in a similar fashion. Perhaps I could teach the people of my house the ways of farming and travel the kingdom cultivating land for those who need it most. That's an idea. Definitely an unusual job for a count, but it'll be welcome for sure. And if you managed to help the kingdom prosper while you did it, people would grow more and more satisfied with the royal family's rule. That's certainly one way to protect the king. Weiter ermutigen, fragen, ob du mithelfen kannst. Ja, komm. Einsatz zeigen. Ich Still, thank you for the offer. <laughs> I will hold you to it. Haha, <lacht> witzig, okay. Auch ganz schön. Sehr typisch Ingrid irgendwie. Unterhaltsam. Auf jeden Fall. Oh, wir können noch mit Mercy plaudern. Ja. Machen wir natürlich auch. Heute kommen sehr viele Leute dran. <lacht> Today's training was a total mess. My feet are killing me. We need to stay in peak shape though. You never know when we might get tossed into a battle. True. We've got to be ready for anything. <laughs> uh, Mercedes? You daydreaming again? I've got to say, you've been acting all kinds of weird lately. Have I? I feel perfectly fine, I assure you. You sure? Back when we had that tea party, you looked so, I don't know, sad. I suppose I can't hide anything from you. <laughs> Things like tea parties with dear friends or seeing the trainees work so hard to improve. It reminds me of how things were before the war, if just for a moment. You mean back at the academy? Yes, and before that when I lived with my mother and my little brother. It also reminds me of the time I spent studying with friends at the School of Sorcery in the capital. Things may not have been easy then, But I would give anything to return to those days. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen you get this sentimental about something. The feeling surprises even me. All my years, I've gone wherever the current of life chose to sweep me. In truth, I used to think nothing ever went precisely how I wanted it to. But looking back now, I realize just how joyous all those moments really were. And yes, I'm aware it isn't good to dwell so heavily on the past, but I can't seem to help myself. Ja, das kenne ich auf jeden Fall. Kommt mir sehr bekannt vor da, was sie jetzt zu sagen hat. Zurechtweisen bringt da auch nichts. Wir können versuchen, sie zu beruhigen. And that's totally fine. There's nothing wrong with getting sentimental. Nobody's gonna judge you for reliving one or two good memories every now and then. Thank you, truly. You're such a kind person. Still, you shouldn't keep all your emotions bottled up like that. We might not go back to the peace of the old days anytime soon, but we can still have tea parties. I'm always here to listen if you ever need to get something off your chest, Mercedes. 
You mean that? I'm so glad to hear it. In that case, why don't we have one right now? Sure, I don't mind. But why now? Because I used the money I'd been saving up to buy some more ingredients. Remember how we were talking about all those different kinds of delicious fruit desserts before? Well, I went ahead and whipped some up. I could never turn down an invitation like that. Can't wait to see what you came up with. Oh, sehr schön auch. Das war hat wirklich schön geändert, erst sehr sentimental. Es ist eigentlich schade, dass äh, Mercy keinen Support mit Duo hat. Das fände ich auch noch ganz nett. Das würde, finde ich, auch ganz gut passen. Weil dahingehend teilen sie, glaube ich, dann schon recht ähnliche Ansichten. Das wäre ganz interessant. Wenn jeder so ein bisschen äh, ja, über die Vergangenheit nachdenkt. Okay. Ja gut. So, also, Wayne und Felix. Ah, Support. Let's go. There you are, Felix. Why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? About the fight you got into the other day with those soldiers. Oh, that. Don't worry, I won't do it again. One of my men told me the whole story of what actually went down. Apparently, one of your soldiers was mocking the heir of House Gautier. Who just so happens to be me. And he started getting into it with everyone else. Which is when you decided to jump in. Worst decision of my life. But like I said, I'm done with all that. I only stepped in because I thought it was my responsibility to make my men see sense. But my fists tend to move faster than my brain, as I'm sure you know. <sighs> I'm very well aware. Still, I'm curious why you didn't tell me everything right away. <sighs> because he said some really nasty stuff about you. I didn't want your delicate ears dropping off in horror. Okay, now I'm even more curious. Anyway, sorry for tearing into you without knowing the full story. No, I'm the one who should apologize. I can't let personal life influence business. Even if it does concern you. You shouldn't worry about it. People speaking poorly about me is something of a regular occurrence. And honestly, I deserve every last bit of it. I was a real scoundrel in my younger days. Caused a whole lot of people a whole lot of headaches. That kind of talk isn't your fault or your soldier's fault. The blame lies squarely with the man I used to be. So, why didn't you do something about that man when you were younger? It was just... I had to be that way, you know? I had to play the part of the flippant, carefree rogue because... Anyway, look, I know I'm a real piece of work, but that's just me being me. Fine. Perhaps you do deserve to be made fun of. But I still won't stand it coming from a bunch of curs who don't know a single thing about you. You may not have the title of Margrave yet, but you still make yourself pretty useful. I've seen how you've helped the boar, and I guess how you helped me too. <laughs> oh God, this is extreme erröt. I was completely gesicht rot geworden. Okay. Wow, Felix, that's <sighs> wow. <clears throat> oh boy. <laughs> I think someone's cutting onions in here. Sehr gut. Be quiet. Can't you listen to someone for two seconds without opening your fat mouth and completely ruining the moment? You always have been too smart and too loud for your own good. Even if no one can match you in military tactics or domestic affairs. And so like you said, we've got problems piling up both inside and out of the kingdom. But with you around, we might just be able to see our way clear of it. That's a lot of problems to pile on one person. Especially when he isn't half as great as you're implying. I mean, I might be, say, 7% more cunning than you, but that's pretty much it. If we really want to be useful to Fargus and Dimitri, we need to work together so we can balance out each other's weaknesses. I suppose that's true. In which case, I guess I'm counting on you. I may even need you. Nate. Besides, I'd be stuck with nothing but miserably dour folks without you around. I'm not sure I could handle it. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice, old friend. I'll always be there for you. I promise. Ah, <laughs> sehr gut. Auch wieder ein sehr schöner Support. Okay, so wenn plaudern wir mal mit dir auch noch mal direkt. Ugh, today's training was rough. Yes, I need to start working even harder if I want to keep up. You know, it's amazing just how into all this you are. But I do feel kind of bad for you. Why? It's my own fault for not being up to snuff. 
Just you watch, Sylvain. I'm gonna stand head and shoulders above everyone else in the next battle. That's not what I mean. I feel bad that we roped you into this war. The only reason any of us are fighting is to keep our homes from being destroyed. If we fail, we'll lose everything. Our houses, our families, the places we grew up. But you don't have that kind of personal stake in this thing. You can live wherever the wind takes you. True. I am a bit of a nomad. Isn't there anywhere you call home, though? Well, sort of. I grew up in a remote village off in the mountains, so that's probably the closest thing. But it's hard to really say for sure. Honestly, I doubt I'll ever understand what it means to have a home like all of you do. So what? Are you just in this for the money, then? Nah. No. I'm only putting all this effort in so I can make sure my friends get through the war alive. Though, I'm not gonna complain about the money, either. <laughs> okay, now you're just trying to sound good. Though it is working, I'll give you that. Really, I think this is the closest thing to a home I've ever had. Because I've got all of you here. <laughs> Are you sure? This place doesn't make for quality living, trust me. I mean, it's cold, it's desolate, and there's nowhere to go to have any fun. Plus, we've constantly got enemies like Srang soldiers coming at us from every angle. Well, I can't deny that. But it's still important to you anyway, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about that. And it's our job to make it a place where everyone can live in peace. Right. Who knows what'll happen after the war, but for now, I'm with you guys every step of the way. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, and about those plans for the fire orb I showed you? Would you mind helping me with a little experiment later? The thing hardly had any punch to it when I tested it. Sure. Sounds like it's a long way off still, huh? Hey, I'm trying here. I even got in touch with the School of Sorcery to see if they could help. No rush, Sylvain. I'm sure you'll finish it one of these days. I've spent enough time with you to know. You can do anything when you put your mind to it. Das mag stimmen, ja. Okay, wir haben immer noch einige Supports vor uns. Es sind aber auch nicht mehr super viele. Jetzt ist Ash dran. Ah, jetzt ziehen das heute durch, auch wenn der Part sehr lange wird. Aber das ist immer noch. Es hat ein paar Jahre gedauert, seit wir diese Lettere haben. Aber wir haben noch eine Antwort bekommen. Ja, wir wissen, dass der Villagechef es hat. Und wir wissen, dass er es hat. Der Soldier, der es geliefert hat, hat es nicht so viel. Aber er hat nie zurückgekommen. Ich frage mich, warum. Es ist schwer zu sagen. Vielleicht hat er nicht so viel involviert. Oder vielleicht hat er uns nicht so viel erinnert. Part of me almost wonders if my mom didn't make him promise not to tell me anything. Not that I have any proof she'd do that. Mm. Hmm. Naja, vielleicht muss man das doch ruhen lassen einfach. It's fine, honestly. If he's not gonna respond, then it's probably just a dead end. And you're okay leaving it be? I mean, yeah, I want to know more about my mom, but it's not the end of the world if I can't. You had to give up learning about your parents too, right? I did, but... No matter what kind of past my mom had, she'll always be my mom. And I'll always be me. I know that she put every bit of herself into raising me, and that's what matters. There's nothing more important than that in my... You're right. Whatever your parents did before they had you, and wherever they are now, they'll always be your parents. Glad you understand. And hey, not knowing the truth lets me make up all sorts of stories about her in my head. Oh, you mean like imagining she was actually a high-ranking noble, forced into obscurity? Not a bad idea, but not totally original either. I was thinking more along the lines of a legendary knight, known throughout every inch of Fodlan. Or maybe a mysterious adventurer who came from somewhere far beyond its borders. <laughs> it would be incredible if it were true. And it would certainly explain why she was so knowledgeable. Still, I'm sorry I couldn't help you in the end. It's all good, Ash. Without you, I never would have spent all this time thinking about my mom and who she really was. So even though we came up empty-handed, I'd say the journey itself was entirely worth it. Yeah. Anyway, I should probably get going. Just remembered I've got a huge to-do list and not nearly enough time to do it. See ya. Huh? I could have sworn I saw the commander here a moment ago. 
Oh, you just missed them. I can take a message if you want, though. In that case, please deliver this letter. Na nur so mysteriös gestaltet. Das ist aber sehr fies für den A-Support, muss ich sagen. Und hier gibt es ja auch keine A+, oder so. Okay, das ist wirklich gemein. Das muss ich jetzt mal sagen. Ich mochte den Support an sich, aber das Ende ist fies. Es ist sehr fies. Gut, wir können auch noch mit Felix plaudern. Machen wir natürlich auch. What's wrong? Your footwork is even sloppier than usual. You noticed that, huh? It's nothing. There's just been a lot on my mind lately, is all. And I was kind of lost in thought when you lunged at me, so I couldn't really react too well. Training isn't the time for idle contemplation. You're worthless as a sparring partner if you let your mind wander. Not to mention that you do the same thing in actual battles. Getting distracted when you're training is one thing. Do it out there, and the enemy will cut you down without hesitation. <sighs> We've been through this before. If there's something on your mind, just come out with it already. Es ihm sagen, es ihm nicht sagen. Okay. I was just thinking, you have a pretty good read on me now too. <laughs> it was obvious something was wrong from the way you were fighting, and this is just payback for last time. So no complaining. Oh, don't worry. I'm not. If you say so. There's still something I don't understand, though. Where did you learn to fight like that? You clearly don't move like a knight, but I've never seen a mercenary use those techniques either. I guess you could say I taught myself. I didn't really have one teacher who showed me everything. If anything, I just kind of picked stuff up as I moved from one band of mercs to the next. That explains it. I was wondering why your style was so hard to read. Both knights and mercenaries use a standard set of battle-tested tactics. A book they all play by. But you're not bound to any single convention. I suppose that's what I found strange. Probably doesn't help that I don't have to draw my sword like everyone else. When I think about it like that, it might have been for the best that I taught myself instead of subscribing to a particular school of thought. A unique style all your own. Fascinating. Teach me. Uh, I'd be glad to, but I'm the only one who can use my sword. It won't be easy to replicate. That's for me to decide. If nothing else, I can adapt your moves for my own purposes. The more styles I know, the better. Hmm. That's not If you say so, I don't know how this is gonna go, but I'll do what I can. Oh, and you can teach me in exchange. The more styles, the better, right? You fight sort of like a knight, but also sort of not. I mean that in a good way, of course. I'm not sure how to put it. It's almost like you react to the situation as it plays out. So, yeah. If we can combine our two styles somehow, I bet we'll both end up stronger for it. <laughs> Maybe so. Okay. Hä? Huh? Das ist ja noch einer. Ach, gibt's doch irgendwie so A plus Supports oder was, aber das wird dann auch nicht so wirklich hervorgehoben. Ist interessant, okay. Gut. Spannend, vielleicht geht das mit Ash doch irgendwie noch weiter. Hm. He's making a run for it, Felix. Don't let him get away. Not a chance. He's mine. Nice work out there. It's a real confidence boost knowing you have my back. Und hat mir den B Support noch nicht gemacht, das kann auch sein, dass mir das entgangen ist. I could say the same for you. Now that I know your style better, I have less trouble predicting your movements. Glad to hear it. Guess you must have a pretty good read on me by now, huh? <laughs> on your sword, perhaps. There you go again. You know, I've gotten a good grasp on the way you think. It's like you decide on a role for yourself, then do whatever you can to see it through. Of course, the role changes depending on the situation and who's fighting beside you. Sometimes you attack, sometimes you defend. It's incredible just how versatile you are. No need for compliments. That's simply how I was taught to be. Really? By who? My father. He may prefer a spear or magic, but he's more than capable with a sword in his hands too. Right. Makes sense it would be Rodrigue. His weapon of choice might be different, but he adapts himself to the flow of battle just as well as you do. Probably better actually. The style didn't start with him though. It's something the leaders of our house have passed down throughout the ages. House Fraldarius has been the king's lance and shield for generations. 
ever since the time of Kaifen, sworn friend of the great King Lug. At times, we've been sent to defeat the Crown's enemies. At others, we've held back to defend the throne. I admit the style has its uses, idiotic history of blind faith aside. Huh, so that's why you fight the way you do. You're indispensable, Felix. Not just to Dimitri, but to everyone else, too. <laughs> I suppose if I'm a lance and shield, you would be like some kind of projectile, an arrow or a stone. You're saying I'm good at taking the enemy by surprise, right? You sure could learn to be more direct with your compliments, you know. You can interpret it that way if you want. In any case, you're just as important to this army as I am. Between that sword of yours and the way you can shapeshift, nobody ever knows what you'll do next. Some might say your powers are dangerous, but I think they provide the perfect element of surprise. Huh. Glad to hear you say so. There's one fault I can't get past, though. You can never stay focused during battle. It's almost like you're talking to someone while you fight. Someone in your head that... Hey, what's with a smile? Huh? Uh oh, sorry. I'm just really happy we've gotten to know each other so well. Only a true friend would be that open with their criticism. Thanks, Felix. <sighs> Say what you will. That's the last piece of advice I'm ever giving you. He wasn't really mad. Was he? It's so hard to tell sometimes. Du sagst das, du sagst das. Okay. Ich würde jetzt hier allerdings doch erstmal Schluss machen, auch wenn es jetzt nicht mehr viele Supports sind. Aber wir wollen auch noch ein paar A-Supports uns aufsparen. Die laufen uns, glaube ich, so schnell nicht davon. Bevor wir jetzt endgültig die Zeit hier sprengen, ne? würde ich sagen, war es das fürs Erste für den heutigen Part. Und wir sehen uns natürlich wieder beim nächsten Mal in der Hauptmission dann. Ja. Mal schauen, was jetzt hier überhaupt passiert. Das ist eine sehr gute Frage. <lacht> Aber gut. Wir wollen den Missertaten des Kaiserreichs ein Ende setzen. Na gut. Dem Aegir zumindest würde ich schon ganz gerne ordentlich in den Hintern treten, muss ich sagen. <lacht> Aber ich bin gespannt, ob es noch interessant wird. Sehen wir mal. Bis dahin.